Remove a card. Enemies have 1 HP. Choose a rare card to obtain. Also, is Ironclad, if you get pain as a curse, it can actually have upside? I'm down to choose a rare. I think I want to go this way anyway. Or maybe through here. I don't know. But uh, if I go this way, I have to take this shop. It seems better than going these ways. So if I'm going to an early shop regardless, um, having a good card remove seems all right. Juggernaut from Whale. Let's do it. I feel like next turn I go Juggernaut defend a whole lot and don't really use the vulnerable from Bash. doesn't exactly synergize with Juggernaut, but maybe it doesn't not synergize with Juggernaut or something, I don't know. It certainly doesn't synergize with Normality. But I think I'm about to remove Normality from my deck. Good card. Blood for Bloods. It's a ghost. Blood for Blood seems fine. I'm gonna grab a Normality and an Armament, and we're in decent shape. Decent potions in that shop, maybe over Armaments. Or go away. Both valid options. Come here or go away. What is your choice? Oh. What a strange cat. What strange chat. Chat cat? Cat. What a strange cat. Like a pommel strike? Or a flame barrier? Flame barrier is good in a hexagost act. Kind of is nice with Juggernaut as well. It's just up against Pummel Strike, which is one of the best cards in this card pool. I just take the Pummel Strike. It's not an awful floor, it's a minus six. Early exhum. We take an exhum as a curse, or we can take an iron wave going into elite fights with a juggernaut in the deck. It feels a lot better than a curse. Yeah, we'll just take an iron wave.
I'm pretty sure I kill next turn. This is about what Gremlin Nub's meant to be like for this deck. I don't think we consistently kill it before it hits us with the big attack. Power through's okay. I feel like we're starting to weigh the deck down a little bit if we take power throughs here though. Wild Strike, no Carnage, not really. Have I considered <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes I do. Blood for Blood's a good upgrade, Juggernaut's an okay upgrade, Pommel Strike's a good upgrade, Anger's an okay upgrade. with Juggernaut thinking it would be good for the Hexaghost fight, which is maybe looking too far into the future, actually. Given how this floor is going. Do you not play the daily challenge? No. I should use a potion just to get the 5 health. Play six health because I take a little most damage this turn as well. A shrug or true grit. Not for a shrug. White bee statue with toy ornithopter, pretty strong. I would kind of like the blood for blood upgrade. I want them all. I want this one, this one, this one, this one. That one, honestly, against Hexagos is decent. Plus important with Juggernaut, though. Blood for Blood upgrades a bit better with Liquid Memories, too. We just keep the look of memories for the elite fight. Weak potion. Second wind. Second wind's a real good card. Why not? Don't mind taking damage here. Tiny chest. I am certainly getting some sort of relic. Flame barrier, rupture, combust. If I could take a rupture and combust at the same time, that'd be kind of cool. I cannot. I'm just gonna take a flame barrier. Tiny chest. Do I take Kursky here? I think I do. No. 
Dorm things for the 15 months. Not much reason to go to a store. 100 gold card remove. I can do better. Let's get the pommel upgraded. The same is way better than 100 gold card remove. Emokinesis, cool. Emokinesis combos a little bit with Blood for Blood too. Maybe I will upgrade Bash now. Could also just upgrade Armaments, it's fine in a longer fight. Also really good if I get Runic Parman. Okay. That works for me. I am pretty sure that this deck beats Hex Ghost. It will be sad if it doesn't. Would I pick Sacred Bark here? I don't think so. Arvade. Uh, this deals eight. Not actually better than doing this stuff. Turn looks iffy, but at least I play Bash Plus. Oh, yeah, that's kind of iffy. Gonna pummel first. I don't think so. I think Bash is fine, and I think at that point you do want to pummel anyway. Try no things at 35 months, appreciate it. I don't think I'm playing Hemo. Being at 17 seems better than being at 15 this turn. Alright, we got through Hexaghost. Right? Or hope so. I don't exactly have relics. Uh, my options here are Immolate Corruption. It is a decent corruption. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight energy worth of skills. A little bit like Immolate's even better though. Corruption just has so much more upside though. I'm gonna take Corruption. If that's wrong, too bad. There's a Sacred Bark. Unfortunately, it doesn't double the value of Toy up there. If it did, maybe I'd take it. Should take a fourth energy in the Boston Elite fights. Up dog. What's up dog? Okay. Thing I get on Sawcom. What's Sawcom? Is that kind of like XCOM? I 
feel like I'm not getting very strong each floor. Why don't I get stronger every floor? Gross. I definitely forgot this song existed. Wait, I didn't drop Pommel Strike? Oh, shit. Okay, well, that made this turn very bad. I guess there's a rest in my future. Just played that wrong. Attack potion, a shockwave. We take shockwave over, intimidate with corruption. Do I want bites? Kind of. I guess I take double question mark. I want bites and apparitions here. And get that shop at the end of the act. This is not apparitions or bites. Plus strength, that's bold. It's gonna heal and waste its turn again. Back to plus strength, and then I kill it. Alright, that worked pretty well for me. Healed on the floor overall. Snack a while. Uh, feel no pain seems like my thing with Juggernaut Corruption. This was also a fight. Okay. To corruption is kind of awkward. This is okay. Well, the odds that it's two hallway fights there, not high. Definitely not high. Liquid memory. Take a shrug. I think a shrug's okay. I'm about to go into elite fights where I have four energy per turn. And I might just take a rest. That seems good to me.
Uh, I can just use this on corruption, I guess. Any chest certainly betrayed me. Light potions are good. Pocket watch and tropic bro? I mean, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> okay. Yeah, my deck's probably good now. I mean... <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was... that was completely and utterly obscene. Those rewards are... just not reasonable. I'll take it! I don't think I want to know the flame. Buffer? Hello? Lantern? It's not an incredible lantern. Maybe it becomes one. Maybe I just need something strong at this exact moment. It's okay this turn. I think we probably break this against slavers. Hi! Zephyr is so mean to me. I like go to say hi to him and he just like shirks away from me. Why do you not like me, Zephyr? Aw. Huh. Maybe I should have waited until this turn to break the Entropic Brew, because I feel kind of silly for breaking the Entropic Brew now. I'll probably use this next turn, though. Gavin says hi to me, and I tell him to stop. Is that what he's doing? I don't know if that's what he's doing. Wait a second. Um, whoops. Oh, my bad. Power potion, gremlin horn. Okay, now exhumes good. We have reached a point where exhum is a good card. Oh shit! Very into arena here. Also, another good turn for lantern. I feel silly for having thought that I didn't want lantern. Arena is quite a rare event. You can only get in the second half of this act. Juggernaut, second wind? Probably. Do I want to play the other defense? I don't think so. They're not awful cards to draw again. I want to wait two more turns until the end of the fight somehow.
Instead of throwing Ironclad into the arena, wouldn't it be better to just find out his secret identity while he's unconscious? <laughs> Victory! A powerful fight with many rewards. I don't think you're allowed to do that to Batman. Like, that's just not really allowed. Oh, I get pocket or um, collar this way. I probably need that. I think this is your favorite event. It's a very unique event. Why don't I have feed yet? Maybe fight reward is feed. Plausible. Magic flower, eternal feather. More sustain. Another blood for blood? Me. Well, I have a bunch of sustain. Uh, magic flower does work with toy ornithopter. It also works with Burning Blood. I have a lot of sustain now. Armor. Feel no pain. Second one. This one. This one. This one. Get Juggernaut in play. It is a regenerating book of stabbing. I'd probably kill it like this turn ish though. Next turn ish then. Is it too early to call this one a win? I think if I hit a dark embrace, it's hard for me to lose. I haven't hit a Dark Embrace yet, though. Deck's too good for Blood for Blood. Kinda true. Evolve. Uh, yeah, whatever. I don't know. I already have a pocket watch. It's okay though. It doesn't do anything against the boss. Take a thunderclap for the boss fight? I would rather not. Gotta skip. Get X potion over an energy potion. Dark Embrace. There's a Dark Embrace, there's an Abacus. And I have Juggernaut, Corruption, Feel No Pain, Dark Embrace, which I would call Ironclad Exodia. Uh, yeah, those four powers work pretty well with Ironclad's card pull. I don't know if I want Apicus. It certainly seems okay. I don't know if I want another shockwave. That might be a bit too much. Save some gold for later. Yeah, a little bit since I saw a rare, but not that long. Just took an exhum. Um, I already got arena too. Let's take a holy pipe. So, thanks for the 69 months, hee <laughs> hee!
Alright, good fight. Is Dark Embrace good here? Gambler's Brew, add a card, Warcry? Nah. I'm just upgrading Dark Embrace to make it easier to put it in play. I think a Rampage. I sure hope I don't need a Rampage. It sure doesn't feel like I would need a Rampage. Gambler's Brew over Dex Potion. Zoom that shockwave back at some point. I don't think I'm playing corruption yet. I don't know. Am I? How do I kill that? Juggernaut's getting stolen. Gross. I actually want to take damage from blood for blood, I guess. Oh, nice to cook soon. Easy game. Oh no. Are you kidding me? I could second wind to draw Juggernaut. Maybe I will. Harbor Joe links the 13 months. That one, that one, and do you have Exhum? I don't know. Let's do that. Corruption's gone, I guess. Yeah, I should probably have hit that one. Eventually, though, I will have Corruption and Dark Embrace and Juggernaut in play, and the enemies will all die. Don't even need it. This is certainly a thing. Okay. Just need four bottles. Four bottles, one for each power. Makes sense. I think the way that an ironclad deck like this puts all of the powers in play on turn one is just um, offering. You just get enough cards that draw stuff fast that you can put it all in play on turn one. Keep it simple. Fiendfire is probably good here. Pandas. I don't want Choker. I could take Dome over Pandas. I'll just take Pandas though. Another Dark Embrace, Disarm Impervious, Warcry, our strikes turned into Heavy Blade, Twin Strike, and Hudbutt. That's okay. Card removes feel pretty good. Adding more skills to my deck feels pretty good. So I think like shops and hall. I don't think I want to bounce, basically. I want the other stuff.
Wait, is reminding you of RuneScape a bad thing? Oh, that isn't 36. Mm -hmm. Fight hand. A body slam. Body slam helps a bit. I have impervious now. I'd rather just play blood for blood lots of times, I think. I don't know, I take Body Slam plus I'm gonna take an upgraded one as well. We'll see how it does. Ooh, that's a good question mark. Unless it kills me. Rhino Dino, thanks for the 27 months, appreciate it. Another thing is, like, in theory, and obviously this is just in theory, but in theory I could um, find a card that made energy. That would be perhaps the simplest way to have more energy here. So I had that on top. Oh, God. All right, this was not good. Would I take a dead branch in this deck? Uh, feels like it would win. So I guess so. As corruption, dead branch is an instant one with corruption. Uh, it's unclear that dead branch makes it much stronger. I don't think it makes it much stronger. And it does turn off um, Sundial, which is one of the simplest ways to 100% guarantee I win. I think I feel my pain. It's fine. I think I played the fight wrong, I think that's why I took 40. I do a floor per day. Blood potion came back. Intimidate with Double Dark Embrace, probably pretty decent. Obviously, I already have a Shockwave, but still. Apo? Apo any good? Feels fine. Take another Shockwave! Take a Bandage up. 
I'm gonna just save. Looks like I have another shop um, that I'm being forced into. Nice funky weapon. You have the magic flower benefit for blood potion if you are in between fights. You do not. Only if you are in the fight. One time a month, you actually catch a George stream instead of just watching the YouTube bots. Oh. I feel like I'm streaming a lot. If I don't defeat Transient, does it count as a loss? It does not. Okay, Transient, if you would politely not kill me. Power. I think that power potion for demon form actually mattered there. Could take another corruption. I don't think this deck is reliant enough on corruption for that to matter. Sometimes it doesn't even want to play corruption, I'm pretty sure. to fail to play Corruption, I guess. It might just be this. We need you the boot. Do we need you the boot? I'm not sure that we do need you the boot. I feel like that might be untrue. Probably you should have done something with Headbutt there. Not bad. There's always YouTube Jorbs who is better at the game anyway. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Art of War. I use that sometimes actually. I think a Battle Trance. I think it's okay. It slows me down a little. But not in a dangerous way, I don't think. Do I want to go right for one more elite or left for one more campfire? Probably right. Do I play? with a mod to make gameplay harder for me. No, I don't.
I can play Second Wind here, right? Kind of clears all of my good powers, including Juggernaut. Maybe I just won't. Sometimes I read Twitch chat. Alright, we killed him. Regen pot. Seeing red. Uh, yes, I want seeing red. Regen potion. Uh, it's decent. Why would I read Twitch chat? Well, sometimes it's quite interesting. In fact, I would go so far as to say that it's always interesting. Just sometimes the way in which it is interesting is maybe undesirable. Giant HUD's just a completely free fight. Hey, mate, how are you? I wonder if Apotheosis deliberately upgrades cards in your exhaust pile, or if it just kind of happened incidentally. Like, I wonder if there was ever actually thought given to you it doing that, versus not doing it. It is quite useful that it does. Another body slam? Hmm. I am not exhilarated by it. Another war cry. I do have double Dark Embers. Okay, I'll take another war cry. You could have known Iron Wave would be so important. I had a run not that long ago where Iron Wave would have won me the run, uh, but I uh, exhausted it to Fiend Fire and lost instead. So I would say that I am highly sensitive to how good Iron Wave is in my decks at the moment. Something I'm paying quite a lot of attention to so that I never make that mistake again. For a couple of years where I never picked Iron Wave. That's not true. Another shrug, sure. Camax. I feel like every shop has had a whirlwind in it. Or uh shockwave rather. Italicize deal seven per turn. It's arguably an okay card. It kind of deals seven per turn. Kind of doesn't. I'm just gonna card remove. Anger? Heavy blade. Probably heavy blade. 
Can you turn in gear? I'm also going to buy another shockwave. You know what? Give me that shockwave. There have been times in my life in which I have taken Iron Wave lower than I do right now. But that's a lot different from never taking it. I believe it's dead. Do I need to do the math? Complete flex potion in the flame plus another war cry? I don't know. I guess I'll take another war cry. I'm just trying to fill my deck with stuff. One step closer to a full boat. Doing the reverse boat here. Wait a second. I don't even have Captain's Wheel. <laughs> I assumed when you said that that it meant that I had a boat piece, but I, I just, like, don't. Hmm. Yeah, I'm still one step closer, it's true. Inarguably correct. I have a scene run. Nice. A great card. Almost strike plus? I think so. So now I have my late game when all my skills are done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten attacks. I fiend to fire a few of those away. We can get into um pummel striking four times a turn. Five sometimes with Art of War, which actually makes twelve block per. I guess the first one doesn't make any. But it's pretty decent. The goal for this fight is to put Juggernaut in play and Film No Pain in play. Oh, I already did that. Cool, I won. Also, to be very sad that I don't have a metallicize. Maybe I should have taken the metal size. I don't know. I have not really thought very hard about um, how long it takes before this deck has no cards in it anymore. I probably should have thought harder about that than I have. It just kind of feels like it's fine though.
Who wants to guess whether this is lethal or not? It's 144, and then Juggernaut procs 10 times, 214. That sounds like enough. It isn't. Well, we have one guess in for no. That's embarrassing. That didn't age well. <laughs> Will it blend? Hey, at least the wrong guess was a guess. That's better than no guess at all. Sorry if I missed your guess. That's on me. Uh, it feels like Fiend fires fine, and it would be kind of funny to lose to Donu Deku here if it's not. So, but yeah, that uh, that definitely killed them. Good stuff. A mod that makes Donu dance in time to the background music. That'd be impressive. That'd be a bit of coding. I might install it. I didn't ask you if that was lethal. Sorry, my bad. I forgot where I was for a second. I don't know, duplication potion for Juggernaut might have been better. Or I even buy? I don't even remember. Evolve? Yeah, whatever. Evolve's like fine. Um. Shrug. Just Dark Embrace, feel no pain. I'm gonna use a regen potion here. to just headbutt uh, seeing right here. Well, I guess it's exhumed, but gives me a bunch of cards next turn with double dark embrace. Who do I want to kill? This is fine.
this doesn't kill by itself, but then I draw Body Slam, right? Okay. Hourglass, Skill Potion, Fire Breathing, Double Tap, Cleave. I could take Double Tap. It's like, not... nothing. I don't think I want it. Skill Potion seems okay. Uh, this turn one seems sweet. Oh. Go Apotheosis, Feel the Pain, Corruption, win. Evolve showed up. I do not have a Dark Embrace yet. That's why I'm not drawing any cards. Shoot. I guess I can... Uh, liquid Memories. To get Dark Embrace next turn. So that's actually fine. Let's get Juggernaut in play. I think it's okay to take 30. I don't really want to play all my cards while I have... Oh, let's do that, though. I really want to play all my cards while I have Frail. I would rather block with them later. I don't even need to use this for Dark Embrace because I drew the other one. I have two Shockwaves. Alright, let's do some stuff. Something I can do here that's kind of fun is I can do that and then put Dazed on top. And then I'll draw Dazed and then I'll draw more cards with Evolve, except I already had a full hand, it turns out, because I didn't do it in the right order. Alright, well, fun. <laughs> Where's Body Slam at? I don't know. Deliberately holding Disarm for the next phase of the fight. This is a bit of a weird turn. I don't have Barricade. I kind of just want to do nothing. Is that fine? Just do nothing? I guess it's fine. I do want to keep Blood for Blood, and I want to keep Body Slam. But I don't want to keep Twin Strike or Hemokinesis. I just Fiend Fire this? Fiend Firing Exhum feels kind of bad. Fiend Fire in general just feels like a bad card to play right now. Maybe we just don't play Fiend Fire. Just do like this and stuff. Which I guess probably means we never play Fiend Fire. The fight's just gonna end before it actually does anything. Well, before we want the thing that it does. That's probably what I should say there. Zooms want to go. I 
All right, I assume that next turn I win. Although, like, it's not a very good hand. The losable next turn? Let's deal the rest of the damage this turn. And I can put Exhum on top. The Ironclad has defeated the Spire, I think. I'm pretty sure. Well, yeah, we just go Impervious and Body Slam. This is a fun deck. Um, Juggernaut from the Whale. I've had that a few times already this year. And then I ended up adding Corruption, Feel No Pain, and Dark Embrace. This kind of is Ironclad Exodia. Much, much, much damage, much, much, much energy, much, much, much block, much, much, much card draw. Those turn out to be the four things that win you the game. The rest of the deck is just kind of random filler. Seeing Red's a pretty important card. It's important to be able to make a little bit of energy to get your powers in play early in a deck like this. Anyway, it all ended up coming together. GG. Oh. <sighs>